welcome to Tech Talk. Today's topic, we're going to talk about some, uh, some basic troubleshooting. Uh, it seems over time, more and more people are coming into the stores and their, their Android device or their Apple device is doing uh, some, some funky things. It might be hung up, it might be froze up, it won't turn on, things like that. And there are just some basic things that you can do to overcome that where you don't have to make a special trip into town and come in and see us. Um, I'll kind of go through a couple tips on the Androids and then maybe Andy can go through them on the Apple product. Um, the, the first one, the, the, the simplest thing to do is just a lot of people will leave their phone turned on, plug it into the charger, and it might not turn on or freeze up. Um, if you, a lot of them, I pulled the battery off of this one just to make it a little bit simpler. Um, a lot of times you can just pull the battery out of it, leave it out for just a couple of seconds, put it back in, turn the phone back on, and that'll overcome some of those issues. Yeah. Uh, on some of the newer phones that have the built-in batteries, uh, there's usually a sequence of like pressing the power button, pressing and holding the volume down for about 10 seconds, um, and that'll help do it what they call a little soft reset, so that'll help uh, work through some of those issues there. Um, and Andy can kind of walk through on the Apple phones. Yeah, on the Apple phone, to, uh, there's no battery that you can pull out. So to do that soft reset Tony was talking about, uh, your iPhone may not turn on or it might be stuck on an app or something like that. What you'll do is you hold down your, your home circle button and the power button at the same time. And you will hold that for about 10 seconds or until you see the Apple symbol pop back up on your screen. And that just does a, a soft reset and that'll fix a lot of the issues on the iPhone. Again, that's just holding down your circle home button and the power button until you see the Apple show up on your screen. Um, another option that we have available is um, as these devices you know, keep getting used like we talked about before, um, they might freeze up, um, but they do have a memory very similar to what your computer does. And the more websites you visit or the more apps that you play around with, um, the, the, the phone or the device tries to remember some of the, the bits and pieces of where it was just to make accessing a little bit quicker. So um, on the Android devices, um, it gets a little more difficult to go in and clear out some of that memory, but we'll walk through it real quick here on how to do it. Um, on most of the devices, you have uh, what they call, you know, where all your apps are, so you can click on that, um, and then you scroll through and find what they call the settings. So we'll go into the settings of this particular device, and what I'm looking for on the Androids is there's one called apps. So I'll just click on where it says apps, and on this one, what it shows me is kind of a list of all my downloaded ones, and these are the ones that I actually loaded. Um, so what will happen is if I click on just one, I'm just going to pick one of them here. Let's do the, the popular Angry Birds. Um, I get some options in here. I've got a, what they call a clear data and then also a clear cache. Uh, we don't want to click on that clear data because what that does is it remembers like usernames and passwords. If I clear that out, the next time I go back into that app, I'm going to have to re-log in with that username and password. Um, but what we want to do is just hit that clear cache. And what that'll do is that'll kind of wipe out that little bit of memory. And if you want to go through and do that for each particular app um, that you might use most often, um, that'll clear up some of that memory so the phone or the device is going to operate a lot smoother, faster, um, go into the web browser quicker, things like that. Um, and now Andy will talk about how to do that on the Apple products, which um, is a little bit cleaner and easier for you. So on the iPhone, you might experience you have an application that you try and open it up and it just force closes immediately or, or shuts down right away. Um, a way to, to clear out the iPhone and restart those applications is by simply double clicking your home button. And on the bottom here, it brings up a tray of applications that are currently running. You simply hold down on the first one until they start to kind of wiggle. You'll see they're wiggling there. And there's that little minus symbol with the circle. You click on that red minus and that shuts down those applications. And you can just go through your whole list till they're all gone. This is not deleting them from your phone and it's not deleting information from them. It's just restarting them so that when you try and open them up again, they'll be refreshed and, and they'll start up and work properly. To get out of this once you're done, just hit your home button again and that stops them from wiggling. Press it again one more time and you're back to your home screen. And most of the time that will fix any errors with uh, your applications and having them force close. It also can save on battery life as well. Uh, so that gives you a couple ideas on things that you can do to you know, help manage your device and clear up some memory. Uh, there are some more advanced tricks. You know, if you do have troubles, you know, feel free to stop on by and we can sure help you, you know, keep your device running smoothly.
If you ever have any questions, feel free to stop by one of our stores, uh, give us a call, or check out our website. We'll be glad to help you.